Hi, it's Dr. Kevin at thehypothyroiddiet.com and author of The Hypothyroid Diet. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about three little letters that are causing a lot of confusion. What are these three letters? These three letters I'm talking about are T S H. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. It's one of the most common lab tests done by a physician to determine if you have a thyroid problem. The problem is it's not a thyroid hormone at all. It's a pituitary hormone. So here's how it works. Your pituitary gland located in your brain will release TSH to tell your thyroid to release more thyroxin or T4. So again, tell the thyroid release more T4. Now T4 actually has to be converted to a more active form of thyroid hormone called T3. So again, this is a conversion part going from T4 to T3. So how does the body know when to make more? Well, there's another part of the brain called the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus is the part that actually reads how much T4 or thyroxin is in the bloodstream. And when thyroid hormone goes down in the bloodstream, TSH goes up to tell your body to uh, basically release TSH, tell the thyroid to release more T4. But here's the issue. Your issue may not even be with T4 in the body. Your issue could be right between T4 and T3, which is a conversion problem, and sometimes that may not show up on a blood test. Or you can have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disorder. And again, those numbers can be normal, yet your thyroid antibodies are elevated. So make sure you have your thyroid antibodies checked. Now, as far as numbers go, where should they be? Well, most physicians will run tests, and this is the range they're looking for. 0.5 to 4.5. However, a more sensitive, and in my opinion, and a more sensitive and a better number to look at, 1.8 to 3.0. This is a little bit more sensitive because you could be in this range or out of 3.0, a little bit more elevated, and still have symptoms. So hopefully this picture made sense to you. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Hopefully it served you well. So if you need any more information, go to the hypothyroiddiet.com. And uh, if you have any questions about this, just place them below the video, and I'd be happy to answer those for you. Hopefully this, this served you well. Until next time, eat well and be well.